السلام عليكم كيف حالكم ان شاء الله بخير وطيبين شلون صرتوا يا هاي الأزمة ان شاء الله اموركم ماشي على خير ان شاء الله ازمة خفيفة وتعدي وربنا يحميكم يحرسكم من كل الامراض والمشاكل والفيروسات ونرجع لكليتنا ولدوامنا ان شاء الله قريبا باذن الله اذا اريد نذكر موضوعنا شوية قلت انطيكم فد شي معلومة بسيطة حتى لو في ربع ساعة حتى يعني يصير الفوكس مالتكم اعلى لان اعرف اكو بيكم يعني مجرد معلومات ما راح يستفيد منها تذكرون اخر شي اخذنا هو الميتافيزيكال بوتري وحكينا انترودكشنز وشوفت لكم سلايدات عن هذا الموضوع حكينا عن الميجر بوتس اوف ميتافيزيكال بوتري امونج هوم قلنا جون دون از اور اون ميجر اور اون فوكس حكينا على الفيتشرز اوف ميتافيزيكال بوتري وقلنا هاي الفيتشرز يعني تتعلق اكثر شيء بالوت والانتلكتواليتي والوزدم لانه such kind of poetry is different than what we used to have it is different than pastoral poetry which depends on feelings emotions and um, the heart uh, metaphysical poetry relies more on the intellect on the mind on what we think and how um, poets um, perceive knowledge uh, such kind of poets are normally يعني not not only poets who feel something um, towards any kind of experience just like the previous poets and write about it i told you earlier that many uh, poets who belong to metaphysical poetry and later eras of poetry are are scientists so they used to combine knowledge uh, the wisdom the mind the intellect with their own feelings and to produce um, a kind of poetry that we call metaphysical and i also talked about the um, the meaning of metaphysical and we said it is beyond uh, the physical or in arabic we call it al metaphysiqiya ma wara al tabi'a wa ma ba'da al tabi'a just to jog your memory about the features of this kind of poetry we can say that um, it depends on the intellect um, um it is often a form of intense and urgent uh, argument um the images and uh, metaphors are drawn from different fields of of life yani poets might refer to um something related to india i think uh, we, we discussed that earlier or they uh, might um, refer to some universal topics or some things that related to the universe of the cosmos al kawn bi sura amma mithal ma nshuf fi john don yashir ila al awasf alli mumkin tahdath fi kharij al kawn malatna um the skillful use of paradox and pun wa um the um poetic language and rhythm which are often um, those of the current uh, speech everyday speech واكو في شيء مهم اخر يمثل لنا um, الميتافيزيكال بوتري هو اسمه الكونسيت الكونسيت um, اعتقد ناقشنا هذه الفكره سابقا بس نذكر بها اعتقد واحده من الطالبات سالتني um, i do not understand the um, the meaning of conceit كنسيت هو ميتافور يعني نفس اللي اخذناه سابقا في الكورس الاول مقارنه بين الشيئين بس بالميتافور العادي الكومن ميتافور الكومباريزن بين تو ثينجز which are related there is kind of relevance between two, these two things uh, for example Uh, the poet compares his beloved to a flower, to a rose, without using as in like, of course, you know that. Uh, or he compares her face to uh, the moon, or he compares her uh, a black hair to um, a dark night. So there is a relevance, there is um, a connection between these two, um, uh, two things. But 
When the poet compares his beloved to a compass, فرجال من يبدي الشعر يسوي مقارنة بين uh, الكامبس وبين uh, the lovers whether the poet himself or any other person and uh, a beloved and he uh, presents his idea and discusses it and reaches a conclusion and then when we read uh, we find that well there is a connection between the compass and the lovers so this is the um, the, the meaning of a conceit I can define it as a comparison between two things just like metaphor which are irrelevant which are dissimilar they are not related to each other but we refer to one of the features of metaphysical poetry it depends on wits on intuition on wisdom and the mind so the poet manages to find a connection and this is related to the poet's wit because he is um, not only a simple poet he might be um, a scientist he might be a philosopher and I gave you an example about Descartes we said Descartes mathematics uh, uh, so um, this is the philosophy of conceit and it is a kind of feature that characterizes metaphysical poetry as we can see in Don's uh, poem, Metaphys um, a valediction, forbidding, mourning. A valediction, wada, forbidding, yamna, al mourning, al hidad. I told you about John Donne as a poet who used to roam a lot, who used to travel a lot. So um, one day he was preparing for a travel around um, Europe to a different country and his wife was very sad because he is leaving her his beloved his wife his um, whatever uh, so he wrote a poem to tell her that no matter where he lives no matter where he travels he still loves her and this kind of love will not um, be um, influenced or um, it will not change so he wrote a poem uh, to convince his beloved to um, remain calm because he is coming back soon and he will still uh, be her lover and she will still be his uh, beloved the poem as you can see starts with um, a simile you see as Virtuous men pass mildly away and whisper to their souls to go, while some of their sad friends do say the breath goes now and some say no. A comparison between two things. What we have now is the apparent thing. Virtuous men means the men of religion, those religious people. As virtuous men pass mildly away. Pass means die just like the soul of the virtuous men when we compare those people they believe that the virtuous people and people of religion when they die they do not suffer while they are dying they do not um, have any um, um, suffering or pains or they are not hurt because they are virtuous because they are religious because they are the men of God so their souls sneak out easily mildly uh, and whisper to their souls to go to their souls to leave their bodies to go to God while some of their sad friends do say some of their sad friends some of their sad people relatives colleagues friends they say the breath goes now and some say no so when some people like those like their friends they declare that the souls have left that the souls now have left the body it means that the 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 those people those virtuous men are dead but there is a kind of doubt because some other people say no, no, they are still alive. They are not dead yet. 
So the comparison here is the first part of the comparison that um, the virtuous men die in a mild, easy way. They do not die in a difficult way, just like anybody else. They die uh, with some simplicity, with some uh, easiness. So the poet tries to evoke his departure to, to, to tell us that when he leaves, when he is going to travel, his travel will be as easy as the death of those virtuous men. سفر الشخص هذا الشاعر أو المان اللي we are talking about um, it is going to be very easy it is not going to be difficult just like those people die because according to their philosophy the death of virtuous man is very mild very easy very سهل um, this is the um, meaning of the first a quatrain. So let us melt. Now the poet talks to his beloved. He says, let us melt and make no noise. I told you earlier that John Donne is one of the people who believes in the oneness of lovers, that the, the lover and the beloved are just one solid mass, one person. And uh, I refer to one of his poems when I told you that the bug, the fly, comes um, in, in his poem, The Flea. Uh, the, 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 the fly or the bug comes and sting the beloved, and then she goes and stings the lover. So um, they, he feels or he evokes the oneness of the bloods of those two lovers in the body of the bug. They are, they become united. They are just became one um one 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 solid thing so this is inherent in the philosophy of uh, john Donne's poetry um so that's why he, he he reflects this idea every now and then in this poem so so let us melt let means let us us you and me the poet and his beloved so let us melt and make no noise we don't need to make any noise we just become one person. No tear floods, no flash of tears. We don't need to cry and weep and shed tears. Nor sigh tempests move. And we don't need to lose our temper. It were a profanation of our joys to tell the lighty our love. This kind of a process, our love, is a kind of a reflection, is a kind of a proof to our own choice, to our own uh, happiness. So, and this happiness is to be told to the laity, the laity to the people, to the human beings, to the community, to express our love. Hey, we are lovers, we love each other. So this stanza, this quatrain, reflects the concept of John Donne that talks about the oneness of lovers. Moving of the earth. Now we come to a little.